What's up everyone? We found the cemetery. Oh my gosh, this place is so dark. Um, yeah, we passed it a couple times. We turned around, we, we were, went back. We ended up finding it um, when we pulled in. Oh, it's sad like to see all those stone, all those stakes in the ground. But I'm gonna take you up to a historic sign. We're gonna go check this place out. All right. Oh, Cedar Lane Cemetery. Let's see if I can read it. In 1997, a cemetery restoration began here that triggered a movement to memorialize patients buried at the state's psychiatric hospitals nationwide. After discovering nearly after discovering discovering nearby neg neglected cemetery entered some 25,000 people members of the Georgia Consumer Council pledged let's see pledged to restore the burial grounds and build a memorial a grassroots campaign raised funds to erect the uh, adjacent gate and display 2,000 numbered iron marker displayed from the graves over the years. A life-size bronze angel was placed 175 yards south of here to serve as a, I can't read that word, per, per, perpetual guardian. Oh wow, look at that. All right, let's go in and check this place out. Oh, there's an angel on the gate. Look at the angel on the gate. This property has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of of the interiors. Oh wow. Look out here guys. This is so sad. Oh my god. I have to show you. Oh. Look at this. These are all unknown people. Oh my god, it makes me want to cry. Now Oh I I, I got so much tears like wanting to cry um now the way they have this are these cremations or are they bodies are they m multiple bodies piled on top of you oh mm. are they multiple bodies piled on top of each other these are metal they're metal look at that oh there's over 2,000 graves here. Oh. Just want to cry. I wonder if they did um, radar. How do they know? You know, and how... Is there any more out this way? I need to do some research, or if one of you want to do some research, and see if... See if these are cremations doesn't look like enough room for bodies guys unless they're mounds of bodies just buried I don't know oh oh I just wanna I don't know how many of you guys are feeling this sadness but oh it's, it's so sad there's tears in my freaking eyes it's making me want to cry Gosh, look, it looks like there's a grave down there too. Look at these, are these graves? Here's a memory bench. Oh wow, so these are some of the people buried here, 1833 to 1928. The bench has been placed here later in remembrance of Constance Royal Lee granddaughter oh my gosh Jack Jerry 
There's like little tombstones here. Like, look at this. That is a tombstone. It is, oh, Henry, H-E-N-R-Y. It's Henry, M-O-S-E-L. Born in 1827, died in 1904 at the mental hospital, I'm sure. I think Henry was on this bench, wasn't he? Oh my. Henry. No, this wouldn't have been this wouldn't have been him. This is a different one. This is the last name, I guess. Or Royal's the last name. Because this was 1827 to 1888. Oh my goodness, but there's multiple graves on the property. Is that not awful? This right here makes me sick. Oh my gosh. And I seen a picture of this online and somebody must have got down really low and took the picture because these stones look way bigger than what they are telling you guys they are like very very small very very small Let's see what you guys are seeing I'm gonna go out there and show you how small they are look at this guys they're not even about a foot it's only just barely above my ankle little bit above the ankle. So they're so small. I hope you guys seen that. Online it shows them and they look so big and I guarantee you that somebody got down like this and then it looked like they were gigantic. They're not. It's a sad memorial because they are so small. Now I don't know if I'll be able to find out. Maybe you guys can find out if it's cremations. Are all these people cremated? You know, and how, like if they did radar, how do they know? You know, can they see ashes? How do they know? I'm just wondering if bodies are just piled on top of each other. Oh, it's so sad. It's cold out here. It makes me want to cry so bad. There's several tombstones like out here into the on the grounds. Down here. Look at this. It just broke off. Oh, it's still in decent condition though. Who is it? Eli? Looks like it's Eli. 1830 to 1902. He probably lived his whole life, his whole life in the mental hospital. Is there multiple graves? There's one right here. Oh, there is. There's some all up and through there. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Joseph. 1860 to 1901. It looks like there's multiple stones, like, like all up in here. I came down the wrong direction. I must have missed them. Because this one here, they must keep going. Who's this Rufus? Rufus? Born 1871. Died in, a lot of them died in 1902. Wonder what was 1902? What happened in 1902 for all these people to die? Age 31. I know I've seen one up here. I know I'm backtracking now because I didn't come in this way. I don't know what that is. That might be one there. 
That might be an unmarked right there. But I see them walking way down in the woods, so there must be multiple down in the woods. I don't think we're gonna do 30 minute alones tonight because it's really late now. Um, but I do wanna show you guys the place. We might end up having to come back in the daytime and do some 30 minute alones in the daytime. This is just so sad. Really sad. Jesse, how many more graves are down there? Um, there's a few. Is there? Um, it, it looks like there's more, but it's just trees that have been cut. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. Like, she said there's a whole bunch of them over here. Um, there's probably the trees that have been cut. Oh, uh, okay. There's space right here. You can tell somebody's buried. Where? Down through there. <clears throat> It's crazy. There's a couple of them over there. Look at all of them over there. Oh, you said that was trees. Is that a big one way back there? Let's go back and look, guys. I don't know what you're seeing. Oh, oh they're on the ground. They're flat markers. Look at that. <gasps> Mary H. Knott. 1852, let's see if you can see it better that way, to 1905. I can't remember what happened in, 19, in the early 1900s. There was probably an epidemic, a fever or something, yellow fever. Caroline, 1869 to, to 1896. Wow, they all died so young. And is that a big one way down there? No, I know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check it out. They're all over there too. Yeah. All right. Let's go check this one out, and then we'll have to come back in the daytime. This is a really big one. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. I bet you there's more. I bet you there's a bunch of unmarked that, that, you know, look down in here. There's a whole bunch of them right down in there. Look at this. This is just falling over. Oh, if this was my loved one, I would be so mad. I hear something. They're way down in there. Yeah, we're definitely coming back in the daytime and checking this out. Look at that. You don't even know. <gasps> you don't even know who it is. That's so sad. There's a bunch of them right down in here. There's Jesse's Paranormal Adventures. Hey, Jesse. We're going to have to come back in the daytime yeah. so we can really check it out. Oh, my. If there's anybody here, can you speak to the device I'm holding in my hand? All right, guys. So, my phone died, so I don't have Necrophonic, but I do have Spirit Box. Look at that one. Robert. Yeah. Oh, we're walking through spider webs. I do have... Let's see. I have the um, the spirit box. I don't think I even have a speaker, but it'll probably be loud enough. What's that noise? All right. Here we go. I'm turning the spirit box on, guys. I don't know if I'm on a path or if I'm off a path. Well, maybe I am. I guess I'm not. I let somebody borrow it. And I guess they left it on and killed the batteries. Dang it. There's that one there. Yeah. Batteries are dead, guys. Oh, I think my SD card's filling up, too. 
Let me see if I can just turn my phone off. All right, everyone. So I was down there and I was trying to do the spirit box. I did not have any clue that the spirit box battery had died. I had to lend it to um, someone and I don't know what happened. It got, um, the batteries are dead now. It probably got left on. And then my SD card filled up. So I had to come up here and put everything down and get another SD card. Mm -hmm. So we are up under the um, gazebo. This is the angel. I don't know how well you can see that. Well, you ain't gonna see it there. This is the angel that sits here that we were seeing. Now, I can't really, it's hard to see with the light on. So the statue's right here somewhere. We'll probably be able to find it better in the daytime. And I can probably get pictures of this stuff in the daytime. Oh, look. See, it makes them look like they're so big. They're not. They're above your ankle. This is showing it off in the woods, so maybe there's more off in the woods. Displayed markers found. Wow. The efforts to bring recognition and dig dignity to the 30,000 patients buried here. This is saying 30,000 patients on the grounds. Oh, wow. I got to get pictures of all this stuff. Oh, it's so creepy here. Original African American Cemetery. I wonder, is that part of this? In remembrance of the 2000 African Americans. I'll get pictures of all this so that we'll be able to actually read it a little bit better. Look at this. Oh, this is, these are different cemeteries. This is Jasmine Cemetery. I bet you these are all different cemeteries. Cross at Jasmine Cemetery. Maybe Jasmine Cemetery is, is the African American Cemetery. African American section of Cedar Ridge. And Cedar Lane Cemetery, that's where we're at now. Before and after. Oh, wow. I don't know how well you can see that. That's before and this is after. I might be able to snag these pictures off the internet. I'm going to try and get... I'll, I'll snap some pictures of this for you guys. I need to bring something and clean it. It's filthy. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, everyone. We're definitely not doing 30 minutes of loans tonight. Um, we are going back to the to the um, Airbnb, and we're going to do videos there. I left a camera running while um, while I was gone, so I'm curious to see if we capture anything on that camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll bring you back in the daytime. I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.